Hello and welcome to the next part of the PHP object oriented tutorials. Today we're going to look at property overloading using different magic methods that we haven't done so before. In the previous tutorial we looked at visibility scopes in objects. Uh, we were playing with the pr public, private and protected uh, properties as well as methods. So if you haven't seen those already, uh, that tutorial already, I've got a, a link in the description below and also in the uh, top right hand corner here. Do check that out because this tutorial will make more sense if you've if you've seen that. Okay, so property overloading then. We're going to use some magic methods and the magic methods that we're going to use are underscore underscore get and underscore underscore set. Now you may have noticed we've actually used some magic methods before. Uh, we've used the constructor, the construct here. And uh, the magic methods are basically start with underscore underscore. These are reserved method names that uh, PHP has. So we couldn't create our own uh, construct method with the underscore underscore um, because these have special meaning. Um, so for example, this constructor here, this construct gets called whenever the class is instantiated. And likewise, the set and the get magic methods are called whenever the uh, property um, which cannot be accessed um, outside of the scope is accessed and set. So, uh, for example, we could have lots and lots of properties in employer, employee, as well as in the person, I suppose, the class um, that has uh, that are set to private. So we could have a lots of private properties, and if we wanted to access them outside of the scope of the class, we would need to use setters and getters, as I've mentioned. Um, in, a pre in previous tutorials. But if we have lots and lots and lots of these things, then we would have lots and lots of, of methods to get and set. So for example, here in the person class where we have um, first name, last name, and gender, if these were all set to private, for example, we would need to use um, getters and setters to access each one of these outside the scope of the class. So we've got three properties here that would mean six methods. So three getters and three setters. Let me just put those back to what they were. Um, so uh, there is a, an easy way of doing this, or there is an easier way of accessing these methods, uh, sorry, these properties, and that is to use the magic method set. So let's say, um, for example, instead of set job title like so, we would instead have public function underscore underscore set as you can see, the ID has picked that up, passing in two arguments. The first is the name and the second is the value. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, the name is the property that we wish to set. So we would do this, then the arrow symbol, and then we would do uh, name is equal to the value like so. Now I'm just going to change uh, that because that will throw an error because we don't have that method anymore. So this job title. I'm just going to put that back to uh, job title like so. Now, um, and I'm going to remove, uh, I'll keep that in at the moment. So public function underscore underscore set, passing in the name of the property that we wish to set as well as the value we wish to set to. So in this case, we would pass in job title and then the name or sorry, the value of the job, job title. And that will just basically do what that's done but here in a dynamic fashion. So we are ac accessing and setting this, uh, this property dynamically. So let's scroll to the bottom and where we have um, uh, Jane job title uh, tester. So let's save that and see what happens. And let's just um, change that to be a get job title and run this and we can see that we have uh, changed the value of the job title to tester. Let's just explain what we've done here. So Jane arrow symbol and then job title is equal to tester. Now if you saw the previous tutorial you will notice that Jane title the, the job title is actually set to private. Um, so how are we actually do how are we changing the 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 value of that job title to be tester if it's private. Well, it's this underscore underscore set method that is doing that. Basically, it's set, it's this gets called whenever a property is trying to be accessed that doesn't have, um, uh, that, that is inaccessible from its scope. 
So basically overloading basically means that we're creating um, dynamic properties and methods. So a dynamic pro entity in this sense um, would be processed via a magic method to establish uh, itself within the class. Um, so we have a private job title, which means that it cannot be accessed from outside of the scope of the class. But if it is accessed from outside the scope of the class, then this set method is called. So if I was to just um, comment that out, for example, and then run this, we will get an error because we're trying to access a private property job title from outside of the scope of the class. Um, so let's just put that back and run that again. So now we have tester. Let's just clear that down just to give us some more room. Now, um, likewise with the setter, with this set method, uh, we also have a get method too. So let's just scroll down here uh, where we have this on line uh, 54. So echo get job title. We don't need to do that anymore. If we were to just jump to that, um, we can actually now remove this. And instead of having get job title, we just do, um, let's just remove all that, underscore, underscore, and then get. And the name is like, like this here, where this is the name of the property that we wish to get. So we're just going to do a return of this, um, sorry, this name like so. And let's uh, scroll to the bottom here and change that from this get job title because this doesn't doesn't um, uh, exist anymore. There is no method called get job title anymore. It's just these two getters and setters. Let's just change that to just job title and save that. Run this and we should see that we have the uh, tester job title too. Let's um, scroll back up to here. Let's remove this and save that just to demonstrate. We should now get an error that says that we're trying to access a private property job title. Let's put that back. And run that and we can see that we now have tester again. Now, this is very useful if, uh, for example, you have a class that has a lot of private, uh, pro uh, private properties that you wish to access. And also if, uh, if you allow access to these uh, properties from outside the scope of the class and they also need they all need to conform to some sort of format so for example in the setting in the set you might want to make ensure that they all have uh, uh, uppercase values for instance and you would do that like this and we could also do uh, private if I can spell it right private um, I don't know, let's just call this job number, for instance, and uh, scroll down to the bottom. We can now do, um, oops, sorry, Jane job number is equal to uh, five, for instance, and we can echo out job number, I'm going to put, just put in a new line in between the two and run that again. Now we can see that we have the job title as well as the job number. Um, and even though these are private prop, uh, private properties, we can access these um, by, by using these set and get magic methods. These are methods that allow for property overloading. Now, that's uh, you know the good the, the 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 good reason of doing this is is to um, allow these these uh, properties to be accessed from outside the scope of the class. But there is a a trade off, and the trade off is that now you've you've removed the um, the documentation that the IDE that your um, that your um, I'm using NetBeans here that your IDE has. So for example, if I was to do um, Jane, and then see, I, I have there is no knowledge here of job title and job number because, and it's because if I was to move that 
go back up, it's because these are set to private. And so the IDE knows that these are private and therefore it, it doesn't have any um, uh, idea of, of what these properties should be. If I was to put that to public, for example, and then scroll down here and do Jane, I can now see that we have a um, job title. And in fact, I can go even further than that. I can actually add some documentation to this. So if I was to do, put in some comments, let's say this is a string and this is title of, of um, job and save that. Scroll down, we can now see that we have Jane job title and in the documentation we have um, title of job type is a string. So that's the trade-off. Uh, the trade-off is basically that we have um, no documentation if we're using this these uh, magic methods. Um, and also we're, we're exposing our, our uh, properties. Uh, we're allowing these properties to be overloaded from outside the scope of the class and perhaps we don't want to do that perhaps we want to keep these encapsulated within the um within the classes themselves but uh, that is property overloading i hope you found it useful if um if you've got any questions then please leave uh, them in the comment section below um like the video if you found it helpful share it around if you think others will do so as well um thanks again for watching Follow me on Twitter, my name's PFWD, and I shall see you again next week. Cheers, bye.